Well, it's always nice to be surrounded by Ford GTs, especially when the whole family comes home for a little homecoming. Over there, there's a red Generation 1. Over there is a white Gen 2, the relaunch car. And behind me, there's number three. This is the new, new Ford GT. Quite a looker. Get a look at it from the back alone. It's got drama to it. Wider, lower, more menacing perhaps, and less of a retro throwback. Now let's talk about some of the guts. Believe it or not, this is running an EcoBoost engine, which you normally think of as being sort of on the economical side, although it's been a huge hit in trucks. And this one's been cranked up to put out 600 horsepower. This isn't the EcoBoost you'll find in a Fiesta. The suspension is also race car stuff. We've got a fully active suspension like you'll find in a McLaren, for example, and it's pushrod based as opposed to sitting on gravity driven springs. Now structurally, this car has aluminum subframes out front and rear, and in the middle is a carbon fiber tub. You're starting to see a recurring theme here of literal race car or current supercar technology. Ford's done a lot of catching up here. Inside, it's not exactly Spartan. The GT has gonna have the full SYNC 3.0 LCD deal inside, and you're gonna find this is a car, it's got pretty good creature comforts, as that is now the price of admission to cars that are gonna be costing this much. We don't know what that price is, but it's gonna be up there with this kind of technology. Production and arrival in 2016.